Hi everyone, it's Terry. I wanted to um, just share a short message with you and a couple of scriptures. And um, I think I may start trying to do this more often and hopefully you'll be blessed by it. My short message today, I'm gonna call the Rock Morning Glory and you'll see why in just a minute. First, I'd like to read from Proverbs 2, 1 through 2. Accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom. Okay, so if you know anything about the desert, you know that it's extremely desolate. It's very, very hot during the day, scorching heat. Um, at night, it gets really, really cold, freezing temperatures. So it's pretty hard for anything plant-wise to survive there. There's one plant that's figured it out. It's called the Rock Morning Glory. And basically what it does is every time it rains, it stores the water in tubes that run underneath the plant. And so when the drought comes, there's no rain for a long time, it's sustained. It lives off of that water that seeps up inside when the heat's scorching down and there's no moisture anywhere. That water just comes right up inside the plant. Jeremiah 17, 8 says of those who put their confidence in God, they will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and it never fails to bear fruit. Basically, I think that life can make us feel like we're in the desert. So much that is thrown at us on a daily basis. And I think in order to sustain ourselves, we need to be in God's word every single day. We need to meditate on it and literally let it seep into our minds and our spirits so that every day when those dry, miserable circumstances peak their heads, which they always do because it's life, we have sustainability. We have that word that's deep within us and it just rises up within you and it gives you sustainability. You have the hope, you have the joy, and you have the promises of God within you to keep you strong, to keep you alive. I'd like to quote Matthew Henry. Those who make God their hope shall flourish like a tree, always green, whose leaves do not wither. They shall be fixed in peace and satisfaction in mind. They shall not be anxious in a year of drought. They shall not cease from yielding fruit in holiness and good works. I hope that this message has blessed you and I will see you again soon. God bless.